what's up peeps? This is Hipbone speaking and today I'm bringing a top 10 to you guys. Ever wondered what the most useful dinosaurs are in Ark Survival Evolved? Well, wonder no more. I'm going to show you guys which dinosaurs you absolutely have to get and why. But first, if you like this video, please hit the like button and or subscribe for more content. I really appreciate your feedback guys. And now to the list. First, let's have some honorable mentions. These guys are good, but not good enough. The Megaloceros, or the Moose as I call them. Are you in need of fetch? Take one of these and you will have fetch galore. Just hop on and go with the flow. The Gigantopithecus, or Giant Ape. This guy is useful for several things, mostly fighting. But he can pick berries for you too. His special feature however, is that he can collect fiber on his own. Set him to wander and he'll collect it all. Although fiber is not the rarest of resources, it's still a very good addition to your dino squad. Okay, on to number 10, the Gallimimus. You guys probably think, what the hell? Why is that guy in here? Well, I'll tell you, this guy is so fast. Even the Flash has a hard time keeping up. Well, actually, no, but you get the point. This guy is fast. And with land-based scouting so annoying, most of the time, this guy can be very useful to run around and find out what's happening on the ground. Getting those drops, fleeing from Gigas, he does it all. And that's why he is number 10. Number 9. The Dung Beetle. Given the fact that R gives another meaning to pooping, there was no way that they could not introduce a poop eater. And here he is, the Dung Beetle. He eats poop. Yes, that's... All he does. All day long. Man, I hope that I don't reincarnate as this creature. But when he eats this poop, he actually makes something useful out of it. Tame some dung beetles, put them in a farm, and give them enough poops for some time, and they will happily squirt out some fertilizer and oil for you. The fertilizer is actually quite nice, as it takes ages to make it by hand. And the oil? Well, it's a nice bonus. And the best part is, everybody poops! So no searching for food. Okay, on to number 8, the Dodicarus, the Sonic the Hedgehog of Ark. Except for just rolling around and making you dizzy, this guy actually is very useful for gathering resources. You can use this guy to harvest stone and obsidian in a very efficient way. And we all know, to survive you're gonna need to build a safe home. And wood is just not gonna make it safe enough in Ark, with gigas around the corner. At 7 we have our flying companion the Pteranodon. His name actually means winged and toothless, but don't worry, they have teeth and arc. Although this guy seems to be made of glass and can die in an instant, he is very useful for scouting, and since the ground is littered with aggressive monsters, what could be better than just fly away and scout the island from the air? I believe I can fly... Okay, um, sorry for that. <laughs> This guy combines speed with flying ability, which makes him a perfect scout. Number 6 is for our beloved frog prince, the Bielzebufo. Although I wouldn't kiss him anytime soon, just kidding, he is not really a prince. Hmm, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the frog that makes cementing paste. That's right, tame a Bielzebufo and your I want to build this but I don't have any freaking cementing paste times are over. Just hop on and find some bugs to kill. Their bodies will give up plenty of cementing paste when you lick them clean with your frog. Wow, that was a weird sentence. Let's go on to number 5, the Oviraptor. The Oviraptor is the Barry White of the dinosaur world. Just put him in an area with some mate boosted love couples and the eggs will be flying around. Since eggs are used for kibble and are very hard to find in large numbers, these guys have an amazing potential. More eggs means more kibble, and more kibble means higher dinosaur tames. Maybe even a perfect T-Rex tame someday. Yeah, bone. Keep on dreaming. I would call mine T-Bone. Got it? Okay, moving on. Number 4, the Mammoth. The Mammoth is the I can do almost everything but nothing perfect guy of art. He can gather berries, wood, thatch, and not only that, he can hold tons of it on his body. For some reason, these furry giants are really good at a lot of things, and that's exactly why you should tame one. On to number three, the Quetzal. The Quetzal. Quetz, uh, it's the big bird, okay? 
I'll call it Quetzal for now. This guy is awesome. He is a flying powerhouse, able to fight, lift huge amounts of weight, and most importantly, getting dinos from one place to another. Ever dreamt about a metal forge on the top of the volcano? Well, this guy will not only take you there, but your other dino friends too. So now you can use your friends to create an entire metal forge up there. Ever wanted to tame up the Gigantopithecus, but he keeps running away or getting into trouble? Just pick him up with your Quetzal and drop him in your designated taming pen and voila! Okay, let's go to number 2. Did I say that the Quetzal was awesome? Well, this guy is awesomer. It's the Ankylosaurus and this guy is a freaking boss. He looks like a tank with his harness of spikes and armor plates and he can collect valuable resources for you. Flint being the most obvious one, but how about metal or crystal? Since metal is the most important resource in the endgame, you cannot go without an ankylo. That rhymes. So, if you want to be a pro, go with the ankylo. That rhymes too. Oh snap, I'm almost a rapper now. Okay, so, the moment you've all been waiting for. The number one. The most useful dino in Ark. Did I say that the Quetzal was awesome? Did I say that the Ankylo was awesomer? Well, this guy is awesome most. It's the Castoroids or the giant beaver. This guy can collect lots of resources and is so freaking useful because certain things don't weigh as much when you put it on this guy. Tired of a stack of 100 wood weighing 100, well, weight? Well, put the stack on your Castor beaver and take a look at the magic. 100 wood now weighs a magical 10 weight. I'm gonna go with weight. As if this is not amazing by itself, the beaver has a saddle which also functions as a smithy. How awesome is that? And last but not least, they look so cute and furry. You've gotta love those beavers. Well, this was my top 10 list of most useful dinos in Ark. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like and or subscribe for more content. And if you know any other useful dinos that should be in here, please post them in the comment section. Thanks very much, have a nice day, and Hippo is out.